Hi, Lou here. For the past year, I've been getting so many requests to start an online course uh, to teach people how to understand like testing equipments, how to understand electronic theories, and then how to test uh, components, uh, in circuit, out of circuit, and how to troubleshoot and repair electronics. And so for the past year, I've been working on that. As you guys know, and some of you guys may not know, I do already have a uh, hands-on course that I do in person, like a, a workshop, but just never had the online course. So I'll be launching this online course uh, pretty soon. So why, why did I develop this, right? Uh, and why is it beneficial for the people to take it? Well, it's, it's beneficial because I have this issue with colleges and with me being a business owner and hiring my own electronic techs, entry level electronic techs, my issue with them is that when they come out of college, they don't know how to troubleshoot and repair electronics. You know, they know some of the theories, but they don't retain everything that they learn in, in school. So when, they, when I hire them on, I have to teach them, like, how do you uh, power something up? How do you test a component in circuit? How do you even use a, a digital multimeter? And how do you even go through the step-by-step -step procedure of how to troubleshoot, troubleshoot something? And some of the things is that they don't even know how some of these components look like because everything is, is taught based off of theory. So, th so those are some of the things that, or issues that I have when, when I interview and hire entry-level tech. So that's one reason why I developed this course is is for my own personal uh, gain is to teach my my techs or new entry level techs to uh, basically be an electron technician and the the thing with with colleges is that they they teach in a way that th that uh, it it teaches them how to think like an engineer like designing something and then building something but for someone with a two-year degree, you're an electronic tech, right? Your job is to repair or troubleshoot and repair something that an engineer has already designed. And, and so many times when, when I, I interview or hire somebody, they, they kind of think like an engineer, like, oh, at this, this node here, I should get this voltage drop or this voltage or this current and I'm gonna use this, this equation. Well, all those equations has, has already been uh, developed or, or calculated by the engineers already. The, the design of the circuit is already built. Our job is to fix whatever is already broken. And, and so, th so this course, why I developed this course is to teach people to the actual practical hands-on uh, skill to actually understand electronics, uh, troubleshoot it, and repair it. So over my 16 years, uh, that's what I've been doing with my techs, and I finally um, have put this together on an online course, and I'm getting ready to launch that soon. So some of the things in this course is gonna be like, what are, like, what are we gonna talk about, right? What am I gonna teach? Well, obviously I, I will have to teach on safety first because i believe that every tech needs to uh, have some safety procedures in place because you definitely don't want to kill yourself or hurt yourself or or anybody around you so personal safety first and then second is you, you gotta our job as electron technicians is to repair something not blow something up and cause more problems so we gotta we gotta learn safety habits to where we're not blowing things up and making things worse. So safety is part of those. We'll touch a little bit on on like uh, ESD, and and then we'll talk about like voltages, current, uh, re resistance, uh, and and we'll, we'll talk about that. And then we'll talk about like test equipments, like what what does an electron tech need on their workbench, and then how do how do you actually use it? Because most, pe most people don't actually know how to use their testing equipment. So for example, we'll touch on a multimeter. How to use a multimeter uh, for troubleshooting purposes. And then how do you use a signal generator? And when do you use it? 
how do you use an oscilloscope and that's one of the things that confuses people the most on the oscilloscope they, they, they don't really know how to use it so we'll touch on the oscilloscope and some of you never even heard of a curve tracer and that's a tool that I, I use quite a bit in here and so we'll be touching on that also and some of the other things that could be added to the workbench is your power supplies like your your AC power supplies right like your Variac and then your DC power supply variable DC and then those are things that are necessary on a workbench so we'll touch on testing equipments and you know what should go on your workbench and then we'll move into the electronic components and how first of all like the theory of it right we'll, we'll keep it simple because we're, we're just text and we don't need to know all the calculations and all the theories and and like for example uh, like all the 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 holes and the electrons and uh, all that that's moving through and everything we don't need to know all that right so so basically we just need to know how they work so the, the theory of it and then how do you how do you uh, test it in circuit and out of circuit with certain you know, testing equipment and basically uh, that's what we will go through so some of the testing I mean start some of the um, like opponents that we will go through is we will go through like uh, resistors and capacitors and then diodes and zeners and a transistor right your MPN your PMP and then to your like MOSFETs FETs your IGBTs and then we'll talk about like transformers we'll talk about voltage regulators we'll talk about um, like relays we'll talk about optocouplers SCRs triacs uh, MOVs those are some of your major components uh, that are on your boards and we'll talk about ICs too uh, obviously in, in a training program like this we can't talk about every IC but I'll give you guys the fundamentals on how to pull a data sheet how to understand it and then how to troubleshoot it um, in the board and, and give you guys a good foundation on how to uh, go about doing that and some of our most common um, sites that we use to pull data sheet and cross-reference components so once we learn the components out of it and then I'll go through a step-by-step -step procedure on how to troubleshoot and most of the time when we get stuff in here we don't have any schematic so we'll go through some of those steps on how to troubleshoot electronics without schematics is it the best way uh, heck no it's not right but you do what you got to do uh, you wear electronic tax and some of these things that we repair are proprietary uh, where it has proprietary information where the schematic is not uh, available to uh, to people like us I mean they're they're you know proprietary to the, whoever designed it so it's very understandable and but it, anyways we'll, we'll go through step by step on how to troubleshoot what's our mindset what are we what are we thinking or what am I thinking when I'm troubleshooting and just kind of show you guys some of the techniques on how to do that and so when when you guys get done with this course which is gonna be like a three-month course you guys would have the fundamental fundamental foundation to be an electronic tech and you'll understand some of your most common components and your your testing equipments so that's in a work and it's gonna be released soon and I want your feedback so I'll be posting this on my Facebook uh, page and if you guys would go on there and leave me your feedback on what I should include in there and I would really appreciate that so so this is coming out and uh, within a, a week or two I'm not quite sure the release date yet but just follow along and and you know give me feedback so I really appreciate your time to just even watch this so have a good day and I'll see you guys in a few days